first of all you need to navigate to search and you need to type nvidia in the search bar once you type nvidia you will see two options nvidia control panel and nvidia geforce experience you can ignore all other results from this list so first of all we need to dive straight into the nvidia geforce experience or right, fellow so as you can see i am right inside me nvidia geforce experience you need to navigate to drivers and once you are right inside you need to first of all click on these three vertical dots the initial interface might be different but you can install the drivers and the interface will change if you click on these three vertical dots you can see the studio driver and the game ready driver so the game ready driver is for the games on your pc that you play and the studio driver is for the creative apps which includes the cinema 4d so we can go with the studio driver because it provides the best experience for the creative apps so if you click on this it will download and install the studio driver that you will need to optimize the performance of the cinema 4d so once you are done selecting the studio driver you need to make sure you click on check for updates and you will see the message in the bottom you have the latest nvidia studio driver installed on your pc so you're good to go now let us go right inside the nvidia control panel you need to go to search and you need to type nvidia in the search bar again now at this time you need to navigate into the nvidia control panel all right fella so as you can see i'm right inside the nvidia control panel and once you're right inside you need to first of all click on adjust image settings with the preview in the left navigation of the nvidia control panel and once you're right inside you can see three options here you need to go with use the advanced 3d image settings and you need to click on this and once you click on this you need to click on apply at the bottom right corner of the screen and it will apply the settings now once you're done you need to go to manage 3d settings here you will see two options global settings and the program settings we need to dive into the program settings because we are going to apply the settings for the cinema 4d exclusively so you can see the drop down list but before going into that you need to select this option show only programs found on this computer this is important otherwise you will be lost finding the right program so once you have checked this box click on this drop down and find the cinema 4d from this list as you can see i am unable to locate the cinema 4d from this list so now i will click on add to add it manually as soon as i clicked on add i can see the cinema 4d application here and i can double click on this and it will be automatically opened into the uh, program to customize but still if you are unable to locate it you can again go to add now you can see cannot find the programs option here and you can click on browse so that you can manually locate the cinema 4d as soon as you click on browse you need to go to the local disk c where your windows is installed then you need to navigate to program files then you need to select the version of the cinema 4d this is the 2024 i will go right inside that and you can see the cinema 4d this is the application file and you need to click on open and it will be automatically loaded into the program to customize now we are ready to apply the best nvidia control panel settings for the maxon cinema 4d so for the image scaling you can go with on gpu scaling or sharpening and go with the 50% sharpening if you go with the 0% it will not make any sharpness to your images and if you go with the 100% it will make your images very sharp but I recommend to go with 50 and experiment with these settings that works best for you so once you have applied 50% click on ok for the any dropping filtering you can go with 16x for the anti-aliasing FXAA you can go with on for the anti-aliasing gamma correction you can also go with on for the anti-aliasing mode you can go with enhance the application setting and for that anti-aliasing settings you can go with 8x for the anti-aliasing transparency you can go with 8x super sample you can ignore the background application max frame rate now this setting is very important CUDA GPUs you need to click on this drop list and you need to make sure you select use these GPUs and you need to select your NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti this is my graphics card and you will select your own graphics card from this list and you need to click on ok for the CUDA system fallback policy you can go with the driver default now you can ignore the low latency mode max frame rate and monitor technology you can select multi frame sampled aamfaa you can go with on for the open gl gda compatibility this is very important you need to select prefer performance for the open gl gpu rendering make sure you select your graphics card here i have gtx 1660 ti so i will select my graphics card for the power management mode you can go with prefer maximum performance you can ignore the refresh rate for the texture filtering go with on for the texture filtering negative LOD bias you can go with clamp for the texture filtering quality you can go with high performance 
for the texture filtering trilinear optimization you need to go with on for threaded optimization you need to go with on for triple buffering you can go with on you can ignore the vertical sync and virtual reality now for the vulcan opengl preset method go with preferred layered on dxgi swap chain and once you have applied these settings you can click on apply in the bottom right corner of the screen and it will save all your settings so that's it i hope you like this video in my next video i will show you how you can apply the best gpu acceleration settings for the cinema 4d and stay tuned have a nice day i will be back in my next video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible take care have a nice day